Hey y'all, like I said, I was just gonna be a minute. I have all of my scent testers out here to make it easier for me to find them. <laughs> I wanted to do my sniffs video because I realized that it's almost the new catalog launch and I haven't done my video yet. So um, I did a walkthrough video of like page by page. We walked through um, the brand new catalog and I have that on my YouTube channel. So if you have not watched that video, if you haven't seen the new catalog or if you want to see like every little detail of the new catalog that you don't need to miss, um, please head to my YouTube channel to find that. Um, and there we go through literally page by page, but here I just want to specifically talk about the scents that are brand new and the ones that are coming back. So I'm going to spend more time talking about the brand new scents because I know that's what everybody's excited for. And then I'm going to try not to ramble on about all of the returning scents because y'all know how I like to ramble and talk about scents for like an hour. So we're, I'm not going to keep you there that long. So just, you know, grab your lunch and sit down and let's talk about the new scents. So first off, there are 10 brand new, like regular Scentsy fragrances. And then we have two new Disney scents. So I want to talk about the brand new releases first. And I'm going to go in alphabetical order. The first one is actually my number one favorite right now. It's the one that I'm warming. So if you watched me on my Instagram stories, you might know that. Um, this is Coastal Sunset. And this this one is it's a woods fragrance family and it says coastal or creamy coconut and sandalwood set the scene for warm amethyst amber mm, this one is so good this is coastal sunset it's the one that i have right here in my stargaze warming because i knew like this is where i was going to be for a, a majority of the day so i wanted to smell coastal sunset hi tammy but this it reminds me a lot of coconut driftwood from the summer. No, it was the Mother's Day collection last year. And I was really hoping a coconut driftwood wax would come into this catalog, but it didn't. But I think, honestly, this is so similar to it. It's it's warming deliciously. I do smell a lot of coconut and sandalwood. And it's just, it's very, oh, like, this is good. Like, once this retires after spring and summer, like, this one will stay in my club. So, this is wonderful. I think if you like scents like Bonfire Beach, I think that you would really love this one. Obviously, it's different, but um, I really think you would like this one. Hi! Up next would be Coral Waters. So, Coral, Coral Waters is a fresh fragrance, and it says Lush Nectarine Blossom and Peony Bloom Along side bright clear coral waters this one is very fresh this one is very fresh and clean and bright but you do get that little citrus note from that tan or nectarine and you do get a little bit of that floral note but not too much like this one i don't automatically think um of florals but this is coral waters very fresh and clean and i think this one is really beachy like i would say this one's like a like a, a really good beachy scent. So, and that first one was Coastal Sunset. I am going alphabetical in the new releases right now. And this is Cor Coral Waters. And then the next one is another favorite of mine. This one is Mad for Melon. This is fruity and it says, Juicy Honeydew Melon, fresh from the vine, is adorned with freesia and wild poppy. I mainly just get fruity notes from this one. I do not get any type of floral notes from this. I haven't warmed it yet, though, so that might be different once I actually warm it. But this is just a true fruity melon scent. Like, Cinzy did so good with these new releases. They did so good. So, that was Matt for Melon. And then up next would be... One second. Up next would be Magnolia Linen. This is one that I have high hopes for. Like this is one I could see coming out like in laundry and other like cleaning, just cleaning, I don't know. Like this is a good scent. It's in the fresh category and this one reminds me of a different version of Windowsill Breeze. So if you remember Windowsill Breeze, the wax, oh, the wax was available in the um, International Wax Collection last summer and then windowsill breeze came out in our laundry line last fall and it's in the laundry line again this spring and summer and i think that this one is a similar scent to it and i agree it needs to be in laundry so this is a fresh scent 
And this one is sun washed linen dances in the breeze amid a garden of magnolia and honeysuckle. Like this just smells like fresh spring laundry. Like so good. Like so clean. Uh, and a room spray in this would be wonderful. If a uh, scent circle in your car and this scent will be wonderful. So that's magnolia linen. And I have high hopes for this one. I have very high hopes for this one. Um, up next is one of Brandon's number one favorites. This is Make a Splash. This is another one that I'm warming today. This is in the frag or Fresh Fragrance family. And it says, Dewy Melon and Fresh Green Apple dive into refreshing turquoise waters. I get a fresh note with melon and green apple. The melon and green apple is what makes me love this one so much. Like, yes, it's fresh. It's like fresh water, summer, ocean water. I don't know, but it also has that melon and that green apple in it that makes it just absolutely delicious. I love this one. This is one I'm warming today. And I'm warming three cents today. The Coastal Sunset Make a Splash and Sand Swept, which we have not gotten to Sand Swept yet. Um, next is Oh Snap Dragon. Oh, snap dragon. This is the scent and this is fruity. This one says exotic blood orange and sparkling pink pineapple are punctuated by fierce snap dragon. Isn't that like a flower? Or am I crazy? Let's just, let me, one second. Is it a flower? I don't know. Is it a, it's a flower. Thought so. Thought I wasn't crazy. Okay. So this is in the fruity fragrance family. So I don't get any kind of like floral note or anything. Like I mainly get the blood orange and pineapple. Very citrus. I would almost call this a citrus scent though. <sighs> but this one's good. And this is O oh Snapdragon. The rain is gone there and the sun is bright. So you popped in Dumbo, First Kiss Fireworks, and Sun Kiss Citrus. That's a very good combination. Very good combination. I love Dumbo Circus Parade. That one is so vanilla-y and sweet. Um, up next is actually the third one that I'm warming today. This is Sand Swept. This is a citrus. I, you would, I mean, when you read it, I mean, and in the color of it, like, I would think it'd be like some fresh beachy scent, but no, this is a citrus, and this one says, blue ocean water breaks on the coastline over sandstone, driftwood, and pink lemon groves. This one is one of my favorites. Like, this needs to be available in everything. It's fresh, but it's not overpowering. Um, I feel like make a splash. This one is really loud. This is one of those scents kind of like Luna. Like it's not going to be overpowering and like in your face, but it's going to be there and it's going to be strong. Um, and like Make a Splash is Fresh. This one is an actual citrus scent. So this I'm warming with the Coastal Sunset and Make a Splash in my house. It smells amazing, by the way. Um, up next, we have three more of the brand new releases. This is Sun Soaked Petals, and this is the floral one. There's only one floral in the new releases. And this one says, newly opened daffodil petals, sunny currant, and water mint, water mint flourish in the sun. This is one, like, you've, you may have already seen me post about this one before. Like, this is a floral, yes, and I'm not a floral person. But this is one that also has that that kind of, like, I don't want to say fruity or springy, but it reminds me a lot of scents like Here Comes the Sunflowers and Welcome Summer and Beach Daisy. That's what this one reminds me a lot of. So I'm, I'm saying if you know that you don't like florals, try this one because it's just a bright, clean scent to me. And I think that I'm going to really like this one for sure, like in my bathrooms, because that's normally where I like the, the fresher, cleaner scents in the bathrooms. Um, so, I'm very excited to play around with this one. Um, is what one good for big rooms? Big rooms, I would say Make a Splash, Magnolia Lemon, Coastal Sunset, Mad for Melon. I don't know if I would say Sand Swept would be good for a big open space room. I mean, I have it, and this is the first day that I'm warming it, and I have it out in the, um, like the main area of our house. But, um, 
it's definitely not loud, but it's it's there and it's good, but um, I haven't tested it long enough to see how it is in the open floor plan. But yes, I'm saying like if you don't like floral, you still need to smell the sun-soaked petals because I don't think of it as a floral. I think of it as a fresh, and that's just my opinion. Um, two more we got. Up next is one that I love. I love, I love. It is so good with this catalog. Um, this is Tangerine Creamsicle, and this is Citrus. This one says, I see tangerine blended with mango and vanilla cream, a swirl, make the sweetest tropical treat. Oh my goodness, this is a sister to the orange dreamsicle. You remember that scent? Like, I was not expecting a tangerine creamsicle. I see tangerine, mango, and vanilla cream swirl. This is like, like a orange creamsicle pop. Or like just ice cream. Just oh my goodness, this is so good. I want to warm this one with this next one. This is the last of the brand new releases. That's just like the regular Cincy bars. This is um, Vanilla Waves. This is the bakery scent in the new releases. And this one says a sea salt and whipped vanilla crash into sticky caramel for an elegant fusion of opposites. Salty but sweet. I knew that's what I was wanting to say with this. Salty but sweet but whipped cream sticky caramel. Oh my goodness. This smells delicious. Push up ice cream. Yes, that's what the tangerine creamsicle reminds me of. This is delicious and I want to warm this one with tangerine creamsicle. Probably going to do that next. This is just delicious. This is delicious. So this one is sea, <laughs> sea salt and whipped vanilla crashed into sticky caramel for an elegant fusion of opposites. This is vanilla waves. Love it. And before we go in into the returning scents in the catalog, I do want to mention the new Disney scents. So we have two um, new Disney scents. And they are the new Mickey and Minnie scents. So you may know that we have Mickey Mouse and Friends. And we've had that one for a while. Ever since the Disney scents first came out. Um, in 2018, I think. Um, but now. And then we had a Mickey and Minnie scent. That was like your pal Minnie or Mickey. And then like hugs and kisses Minnie. Um, but those are tired and Mickey and Minnie both have brand new scents now and you can order with me anytime this weekend. I'm working on my, my, um, launch order now. So if you want to order with me, just send it to me. Um, but I'm working on my February 1st order like right now. Um, but they have two new scents. So the first one would be, let's talk about Mickey's. So Mickey's is called, oh boy, and I keep thinking of that because we see Mickey Mouse a lot on TV in the mornings whenever we are watching cartoons having breakfast. So, oh boy, says, <laughs> in honor of a true original juicy grapefruit cheerfully mixed with bright clementine and sugared vanilla is one of a kind, just like Mickey Mouse. This is a citrus. This one is so good, too. I, I, li I like these more than the original Mickey and Minnie scents that we had. This reminds me, and kind of reminds me of the O Snapdragon a little. If I had to think, it reminds me of Paradise Punch. Like, it really does. Right there. Mmm. So, if you love paradise punch and you probably already know what paradise punch is if you've been you know following Cincy for a while then that's what this reminds me of so this is the new mickey mouse and remember disney's bars are licensed so they are more than regular bars but you can still bundle disney bars together so like you can bundle regular bars together and then you can bundle um licensed bars together in the three bar bundle or the six bar bundle but you can't like mix and match like you can't do three regular bars and three um disney bars you can't put that six together but you can bundle them to get those discounts um next this is um the totally mini this is a fruity a fragrance and this one says part classy and part sassy this sweet blend of pink melon hibiscus blooms and juicy apple is full of fun and totally mini. Oh, so good. Let's see, what does this one remind me of? I feel like it's gonna be hibiscus pineapple. This one reminds me 
of hibiscus pineapple with melon and apple in it. <sighs> That's what this reminds me of. So if you know hibiscus pineapple, hibiscus pineapple is more fresh to me because that floral note in it, it reminds me of like a fruitier version of hibiscus pineapple. So those are the 12 like brand, brand, brand spanking new scents. So now let's briefly, I'm going to go over all of the returning scents because we've already been here for 15 minutes and y'all know how I like to talk about scents. I love scents, obviously, like I love scents. So out of those top 12 right now, if you're watching with me, I want to know down below, which ones are you excited to um, test out? I want to know. And I love putting together bundles. So if you want me to put together like a new release bundle for you, please just let me know like, if you want all the fresh ones or if you want like, some fruity ones. If you want me to create like, in my opinion, like what the best bundles of whatever scents would be, let me know because I love doing that. Um, so now, okay, what order do we want to go in? I think I want to say organized in this video. I don't want to be all over the place. So we're going to start with the catalog. So I have the catalog like, pulled up on my computer right here in front of me. So we're going to start with the fresh scents, returning fresh scents. So from the spa to the beach to the sunny metal stroll, that's what fresh is. Includes notes like fresh air, linen, lavender, mint, and just cut grass. Um, the first one returning is Aloe Vera and Ivy, and you might be familiar with this one because this one was a scent of the month in 2020. I don't remember exactly what month it was, but this one came out in 2020, and it was very popular. I don't remember what month it was, but this one is Cool Aloe Vera entwined with Climbing Ivy and a splash of watery melon. This one honestly reminds me a lot of Inhale Exhale, which I will talk about in just a second. But this is Aloe Vera and Ivy, so it made it in this catalog. And then next we have Atlantic Air, which is one that has been coming back for a few years now. This one is a refined veil of ocean mist, sea salt, and white orchid. Very fresh. The cardboard in this is very nice. If you like scents like Clean Breeze and Clothesline, let's see, Just Breathe by the Sea, you're definitely going to like Atlantic Air. And it's been coming back in, for some years now in our catalog, so that says something. <laughs> um, next would be French Lavender is coming back, which I was surprised to see it retire, but I mean, thankfully, it's coming back. This one is a classic. This one says Pure Herbal Fragrance of Wild Lavender from the Hills of France. So, I mean, it's just a classic lavender scent. If you love lavender, French lavender is for you. Very classic. Um, it did retire for a season, but it did come back. Um, and next is another scent of the month that made it in the catalog. This is Inhale Exhale. So, that is the one that honestly reminds me a lot of aloe vera and ivy. And this one says, search for inner peace with salted citrus, calming freesia, and solar woods. This, it just does. Like, I know a lot of you have, like, I'm, I don't remember on YouTube, a lot of people commented that, that they didn't see the similarities with these, but these remind me a lot of each other. These were both scents of the month. This one, Inhale, Exhale, was um, the January scent. January last year. So, it's coming back. It made it in the catalog. I remember really loving the performance of both of these. They're very clean and fresh let's see that's a good list so you are wanting to try cinnamon vanilla mocha doodle apricot vanilla bonfire beach lemon sorbet magnolia linen and totally mini those are all very good cinnamon vanilla is one of my favorites too and i'm really glad that it came back um all of those are very very nice so Cool. Exciting. This catalog is awesome. Mocha Doodle smells so good. It's here. It's, it's actually right here. I love Mocha Doodle. It reminds me of like a coffee shop. Okay, so I'm going to go, what's next? Iridescent Pearl. I'm getting off track. <laughs> Iridescent Pearl is coming back, and I'm very excited for this one because this is actually going to be a car bar, car bar now in this catalog. So this one is Lustrocious Layers of Ripe Juicy Mango and Apple Blossom wind down with tranquil water lotus very fresh very clean 
I do smell that little hint of mango in it, but not too much. Very clean. I would love to see this one, honestly, in laundry. <laughs> it would be really, really good in laundry. Um, okay, so that was, no, we got more fresh. Lavender cotton is coming back. Where are you at, lavender cotton? Lavender cotton is coming back. This is a very good laundry scent. If we still have it in laundry, honestly, I can't remember. <laughs> this one says, find your magical moment in purple lavender, soft cotton, and daisy blossom. So if you love lavender scents, you're going to love this one. So very nice, very very similar to French lavender, um, but it does have like a softer, little more floral kind of note to it. Um, next would be Now and Zen. Where are you? Now and Zen, and then we have pink cotton coming back. So now and Zen is coming back and it's currently in the body line, but it's actually coming back like as a wax and room spray and scent circle. This one says a sunny grapefruit balances calming chamomile and a yin yin in a yin and yang con uh, full of story. Very fresh. <laughs> I do get a lot of chamomile in this one. So this one is a very nice like spa like it's very nice in the body line right now so it's coming back though and then one of my favorites this is pink cotton so this one says find your fantasy on a cloud of clean cotton swirled with fruity pink berries and vanilla sugar I love this one I love this one in the laundry so pink cotton is coming back thankfully <sighs> the pink berries and vanilla that's what gets me love it so that is all of the returning fresh scents now let's go down to citrus we had a lot of 2020 scents of the month come back in the permanent catalog which is amazing so be fabulous this one was the scent of the month last year and it says bright limoncello sparkles against a splash of ruby grapefruit and a sweet sugared musk very stout citrus Oh, and citrus, it says classic to sparkling citrus blends includes notes like orange, grapefruit, mandarin, and lemon. Very bright. This one honestly reminds me of a grapefruit version of Blue Grotto. I remember saying that back whenever this one came out first time. So this one reminds me a lot of Blue Grotto, but with grapefruit in it. So this is Be Fabulous. Um, and then we have one of my favorites, where are you at? Coco Lime. Coco Lime was one that surprised me so much. This, was, this one was a brand new release last spring and summer. This one says coconut milk and creamy vanilla get energized with a citrusy splash of fresh lime. Mm. I need this one in a car bar, but I will settle for it, you know, growing. And now it's in a, it's in pods. I think it's going to be, what's it going to be? I think it's going to be a scent pack too, maybe? I know it's coming in pod stove, so I'm very excited because I love using my mini fan or my Scentsy Go in the car. So, I could definitely use the pods to put this in the Jeep. Love Coco Lime. Smells so good. I was not expecting to love this one as much as I did whenever, um, like, they released the catalog to us. But, like, we hadn't actually smelled the scents yet. But, I love it. Um, up next is Havana Cabana is coming back again. It's been in every spring and summer catalog that I've ever had. This one is luscious medley of pineapples, oranges, bananas, and berries. Just the perfect tropical blend, like tropical punch. And when you warm this, whenever I warm this, I get a lot of banana out of Havana Cabana. Love it. So up next will be lemon sorbet, which is one of my favorites too. We used to have a pineapple sorbet. And fun fact, I guess if it's fun for you, it's fun for me. My first sample that I ever made was Scentsy. My first actual wax samples that I made was pineapple sorbet. Um, but sadly, that one I retired a while ago. It hasn't come back. So this is lemon sorbet, and it says fresh cut lemon and grapefruit zest, sweetened by sugar cane. This reminds me of a very creamy lemon, like ice cream. Delicious. If you love lemon, you're going to love this one. So lemon sorbet. She's been coming back for some years now. <laughs> I'm a sucker for vanilla scents too. I am a sucker for vanilla. Brandon is too. I'm a sucker for vanilla, bakery, strawberry, blueberry, all the berries. Uh, <laughs> up next, um, lemon verbena. That one is still was in the fall catalog. So that one is still sticking around. 
Next would be Paradise Punch. This is the one, this is the citrus. Um, that is one of my number one favorites. I will always say Paradise Punch is one of my number one favorites. This is a fragrance that I cannot live without. I miss Let's Get Punchy, and I really wanted it to come back for Bring Back My Bar this year, but sadly I didn't make it, but I voted for it every day. This says a medley of wild Indian orange and sunny lemon juice, acai berries, and star fruit. Mm. And yeah, this one reminds me of the Oh Boy, the Mickey Mouse scent. But this is Paradise Punch. Y'all have seen me talk about this one so much. I love it. I love mixing it with um, Pina Colada Cha Cha. Is that the last? Okay, that's the last returning citrus. And now we're on to Fruity Scents, which is ripe, fresh, squeezed, and always sweet. Includes notes like pineapple, peach, strawberry, and apple. Um, apricot vanilla is coming back. Sally, it did retire in the body line, but it's coming back as like another, like a wax or room spray or car bar. I think apricot vanilla is in a scent pack. Peach vanilla ice cream. Mmm, so good. So heirloom peach, apricot, and vanilla ice cream tempt fate and everyone else. This is one of Heidi's favorites. Love apricot vanilla. I love it so much. And then we have Kimu Kimu. This one has been around in every spring summer catalog that I've ever had. This one says, Tropical Oasis of Lush Mandarin, Kimu Kimu, and Passion Fruit. Four years later in the same scene, I still don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's fun. Very sweet, very fruity, very tropical. Love this one. So, um, up next, we got Go Go Mango is coming back as a regular scent. This one is Juicy Mango and Melon garnished with hibiscus and sweet banana flower. This one reminds me a lot. I used to say this one reminds me a lot of Hubba Bubba Watermelon Gum until Watermelon Tangerine came out. But, I mean, it still reminds me a lot of it, but Watermelon Tangerine is just the bomb. So this is Go Go Mango. She's coming back. Uh, Johnny Appleseed is coming back. So if you did not get your Johnny Appleseed brick in 2020 before it sold out, don't worry because she's coming back. So this is just picked Macintosh pops with apple peels and a hint of crisp pear. Delicious, juicy red apple. Johnny Appleseed. Um, Mahalo Coconut is coming back. This one is Paradise is only a whiff away with floral Hawaiian lei and violet over fruity, fresh pineapple and coconut. Mm. It's definitely a fruity fresh. I would not say this one is totally fruity. It's a very fresh coconut beachy scent. So this is my hollow coconut. So nice. I love this one. This one's a good one. How do you close the lid? Rainbows and Butterflies smells like bubblegum to you. Rainbows and Butterflies did come back. That one is one that wasn't as strong as I was hoping. I'm about to talk about it, actually. It's up here, yeah. Um, let's see. Peach Nectar is coming back. Peach Nectar was brand new last year. This is Delicate Peach Skin and Blue Freesia Settle into a Bed of Billowy Musk Clouds. I love the smell of peach. Smelling this one remind me that sadly Southern Sweet Tea did, Southern Sweet Tea did not come back in this catalog, which makes me very sad. Hmm, good. So this is Peach Nectar. She's coming back. I have a hair on me. And then let's see, Pina Colada Cha Cha is coming back, of course, because it's freaking amazing. So this one is Island Coconut and Zesty Pineapple Lead, White Rum and Vanilla Bean Follow. The most classic Pina Colada scent ever. A virgin pina colada is my favorite, just like relaxing on the beach. It's vacation. Don't bother me. Scent. <clears throat> and I say virgin because virgin because once you put the rum in it, I'm not really a huge fan of it. I don't know why. I think I don't. That's just me. But I just love a virgin pina colada. It's so good. Um, next, we got pineapple pucker. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. How long have I been talking? 30 minutes. Wow, Angie. I know these videos always take me like 40 minutes. <sighs> okay. 
Up next is Pineapple Pucker. This one is Fresh Pineapple Steals the Show and it's eye opening tropical production. Fresh, juicy pineapple. Mmm, so good. Pineapple Pucker. Happy you're coming back. Up next is Prickly Pear and Agave. And this is one, I don't know why it's in the fruity category. It's just not fruity to me at all. This is Prickly Pear and Agave or Sweet as a Desert Sunset behind a dreamy veil of sheer petals. This one is more fresh to me. This one warms a lot like sea salt and avocado in my opinion and like fresh cut grass. Mm, so very good. It's just in my opinion, it's not fruity. It's more fresh, but you know, maybe that's just my nose. And next is Rainbow Sherbert. Where are you at? This was a new release last year. This one is, it's a classic. Orange zest, sugared strawberry, and key lime zing. Just like the real thing. Very, this is a citrus fruity. I would almost call this one a citrus. But that's just my opinion. So, very, very candy-like. Love this one. I really love this one. And this one and Berry Bright last year were so good together. Berry Bright, Rainbow Sherbert, and Cocoa Lime. Those were my favorite, like, new releases last spring and summer. Um, and then we have one more fruity. No, we don't. We got more fruities. Spring and summer is all about the fruity scents. Up next will be the Rainbows and Butterflies that I mentioned. I remember being so excited whenever this one got announced with, it was with the Cell of the Unicorn Warmer, because this one was a scent of the month. This one says, lives a fantasy with fresh strawberries, pineapple juice, and vanilla citrus. I just wasn't a huge fan of this. I mean, like, it's good. Like, I get, I don't know. Like, I get a lot of pineapple juice out of this. It doesn't remind me of bubble gum, but it reminds me of, it's a little, I think I just need to try it again. I remember thinking that it was a little too sweet for me in my personal opinion. But it has been a while since I've warmed it. So, I just need to try it again. And mainly, I get strawberry and pineapple juice out of this. But, I mean, obviously, it's well loved because it keeps coming back. So, this is rainbows and butterflies. And then we just have a few more fruity scents. Skinny Dippin' is coming back. Skinny Dippin' is green apples perfectly harmonized with fresh melons and juicy pears. Green apple and melon. So good. I love skinny dipping. I always love this one so much. This is one of my absolute favorites for sure. Um, um, next is one that's never been in the catalog before. This one is Strawberry Rose. This was a scent of the month early last year. This one is a sweet blend of mouth-watering strawberries and a soft rose petals with a tusk, a touch of sheer musk. I don't get any type of floral notes from this, and that's why I think I love this one so much. This is a very nice strawberry scent, so. Whew, I've been I feel like talking exhausts me. <laughs> I usually stay home and I don't talk to anybody because, you know, Maddie doesn't really talk that much. So, anyways, up next, last but not least, we have two more fruity scents coming back. So, this is Sugared Strawberry. This is the second full catalog that this one has come in. So, this one is a blend of luscious strawberries, juicy currants, and California sun-kissed lemons. So, y'all know how much I love this one already. And then one I'm very, very excited for in this catalog. This one was in the summer collection last year. This is Watermelon Tangerine. And this is the one that I mentioned. Reminds me of Hubba Bubba Watermelon Gum. This one says, sweet watermelon slices spiked with juicy tangerine and dewy greens. Mmm. -hmm. I love this one so much. This one is now going to be available in the body line, the body line, the sugar scrub, the hand soap, hand cream, body wash, fragrance mist. Mm, I love watermelon tangerine. So, very happy this one came back. Definitely very happy. My throat is dry now because I've been talking for like 35 minutes. Does anybody else get like that? Mm hmm. We're almost done. We're in the home stretch. Floral. Let's talk floral. Not my favorite category, but I'm growing on it. Or it's growing on me. <laughs> floral is fantasy to real life floral bouquets. It includes notes like a bit newts. <laughs> includes notes like hibiscus, lilac, rose, and freesia. First one is Aloha Citrus. This one has been coming back in so many catalogs. This one says a fresh tide of tangerine, jade blossom, and vevetier. 
Fairy Dance, it's a classic. It's Aloha Citrus. You probably already know what this one is, but it's coming back. And then we have, here comes the Sunflowers. This one is coming back. This one is one that I mentioned. Um, that new release, Sun Soaked Petals, reminds me of this one. So this one is Sun, sun Kissed Petals and Fruity Musk. Celebrate all things spring with a sweet pop of strawberry. I do get no, I do get strawberry in this one. So it's just one of those fresh, bright, floral, clean notes. Um, this is definitely a scent that I do like to warm. So this is Here Comes the Sunflowers. She's coming back. Hibiscus Pineapple is coming back. Hibiscus Pineapple and a touch of sweet mandarin tail and enchanting tropical tail. This one is coming back in all of the body line again. Not again. This is the first time it's been in the body, but it's coming in the whole body line. So, very nice. Hibiscus pineapple. This one was new last year. Up next is one that has been out for some years. This one is lilacs and violets. And this is a perfect combination of lilac, lilacs and violets, the smell of spring. <laughs> this is the kind of floral I can't do. This is the kind of floral that's just too floral for me. I've never worn this. I mean, it's a nice floral scent. It smells like flowers. I like the smell of fresh flowers. I don't like using like floral wax. So that's just my opinion. But, you know, it's well loved because it keeps coming back in the catalogs. Um, let's see. Lush Gardenia. One that I absolutely do not want to smell. This one is the creamy full scent of classic gardenia with a whisper of tuberose. Very floral. Lush Gardenia. Very floral. And I'm not even going to open it. Because it's not my favorite. I already know it's not my favorite. Um, next is one that I actually didn't fall in love with until last year. This is Summer Holiday. This is in the floral fragrance family, but it's not floral me in any way. This one says, Still away to a sunny isle, bursting with lush plumeria, tug tiger lily, and sweet orange, softened by vanilla and radiant amber. <sighs> I don't know why it took me so long to fall in love with this scent. But I love it so much. So this is summer holiday. I get a lot of orange, vanilla, amber in this. <sighs> love it so much. She said no. You know, we're not a huge fan of floral scents. So some people love floral. So I mean, you do you, boo. I'm just saying. But like still, okay. Um, up next, let's see. We have Mocha Doodle. So this is the bakery fragrance family. We only have one returning bakery scent um this is cinnamon vanilla so this one bakery says an ode to edible delectably sweet goodies includes notes like vanilla caramel cocoa and pie crust thankfully mocha doodle is coming back this one says delicious delicious oh my goodness this video is wearing me out delicious roasted coffee beans and cocoa balanced with sugar and caramel and heavy cream I've missed this one. Sometimes you just got to lose something to realize what you had. This one retired. I was very sad about it. And now that it's coming back, I appreciate it so much more for what it is. Because it smells like a delicious coffee shop. And I love the smell of coffee. So good. So, so good. So, this is Mocha Doodle. I'm very happy this one's coming back. Um, Let's see. I think we just got two more fragrance families. So, Spas. Spas is... A fragrance family and it says gives a sense of warmth and comfort includes notes like cinnamon cardamom and black pepper this one is a very delicious cinnamon vanilla classic this is a classic this one's very good i don't know why this one is classified as a spring and summer scent to me in my personal opinion it's a fall winter scent that's normally whenever i like to warm it but it's delicious and one of my favorites. So, and it's a classic. So, last but not least, we have the Woods Fragrance Family. And we have three scents coming back in the Woods Fragrance Family. No, next is Bonfire Beach. Bonfire Beach is one of my number one favorites of all time. Like, if I had to pick a six-pack that I could only live with for the rest of my life of wax, it would be Bonfire Beach. Like, I would have Bonfire Beach in it. The car bar is phenomenal. The pods are phenomenal. I love Bonfire Beach. This one is toasted marshmallow smoldering over white flint and sandalwood harmonized with sea, salty sea air and ocean spray. <sighs> so good. 
so good. It's so good. Delicious, just marshmallow. Mmm. Marshmallow and sandalwood. One of my absolute favorites. I was so sad not to see toasted marshmallow to come back in this catalog. Um, toasted marshmallow is actually my favorite one to mix with Bonfire Beach. But here's a tip if you made it to the end of this video. Toasted marshmallow is coming with the Easter collection. So if you weren't able to add that to your Scentsy Club before it sold out, or maybe you didn't know about Scentsy back then whenever toasted marshmallow was a scent, Toasted Marshmallow is coming with the Easter collection. I'm pretty positive. I'm like 98% sure it was the Easter collection that they showed us. It was Toasted Marshmallow with it. But it's coming back. So whenever it comes back in the collection, limited time offer this year, we'll be able to add the individual bars to club, which y'all know I already have it in my club. But you'll be able to add it to your club as an individual bar, or you'll be able to purchase it with the three. I'm guessing it's probably going to be a three-bar bundle. Um coming for that collection because it's normally in the collection the waxes are as a bundle i have the hiccups um let's see up next so we got two more this one is my hero and this one was from the father's day collection in 2020 this one is cool citrus and white birch ride a current of crisp air very fresh woodsy good freshly showered clean cologne man this one was my favorite from the father's day collection so if you love scents like business casual and like mystery man and my dear watson scents like that Jaden jasmine you're gonna love my hero last but not least she's only last because the way the catalog is this is satin sheets satin sheets is coming back it's in the woods fragrance family and it is sensual and earthy, sandalwood perfectly paired with rich, warm vanilla. Sandalwood and vanilla. Always so good. And if you need scents that aren't overpowering, that aren't going to give you a headache, if you're sensitive to most fragrances, this is one that you definitely most likely can um, enjoy because it's so soft, but it's like just one of those scents that it's soft, but it's there and it just makes your home smell good. Sandalwood and vanilla. Oh, I love satin sheets so much. So that's it. High five if you made it to the end of this video with me. Thank you so much for watching. But this is the new spring and summer 2020 catalog. And I'm working on my order list for the first now. So whether you're watching this in Wickless Charm VIP or if you're watching the replay on YouTube, on YouTube in the description box, I will have a Google form link down below that you can fill out and it'll come to me if you want to pre-order anything from this catalog. Um, I will reach out to you this weekend and we can finalize your order. If you're watching me that on Facebook right now, then of course you can just message me on Facebook or Instagram. However you want to send it, just send me a text if we text. Um, but you can just send me your order and I am just working on my pre-order list. So I will be placing my order. This one will probably launch. I don't know what time they're going to launch it, but it's going to be wee early in the morning. So I will be launching or I will be placing all orders so that you don't have to. I will take care of you. But this is the new catalog and I think it's beautiful. And I think Cincy did so good. I always say it every time we have a new catalog, but this is my favorite catalog yet. So if you want to see something behind me, I actually have all of my catalogs. Maybe it's over here. I keep all of my catalogs that I've ever had as a Cincy consultant. So like here was my first one. This was this was fall winter 2016. I was only a consultant for uh, like a, two weeks in this one. And then we had spring and summer 2017, fall winter 2017. Let's see. Spring, summer, 2018. It's so cool to see the difference of my labels, too. I don't think I even had any of these labeled. Right here, at the very back of this one, I had this one stamped. But I didn't even have... I didn't even have that stamp at this time. So, I didn't get that stamp until a while. So, I guess I stamped it after. But, like, this was, like, my label. 
And then what, what one were we at? This is um, spring, summer 2018. I had a label. This is a picture of me and Brandon. I don't even think we were married in this picture. I don't remember. Um, fall, winter 2018. This is whenever we introduced Sense, or Disney to um, Cincy. This was spring, summer 2019. I loved this catalog cover. It's really pretty. Oh, that picture. I was pregnant in this picture. Uh, let's see. Fall, winter 2019. Is this the one that we just hit? No. This one was 2019. Spring, summer 2020. And then the one that is about to retire. So, this is fall, winter 2020. <laughs> Yeah, and then I guess I need to go ahead and get me a fresh one. This is my catalog I keep on my desk, so it's all, you know, bent and stuff. I need to put me a fresh one. So, I'll put me a new catalog in my little booklet. So, and she's about full, but um, I like to keep stuff like that. So, but yeah, that's it, guys. If you want to pre-order with me, please just reach out to me and we can finalize that. I do have my personal special on shipping, so just ask me more details about that. But that's it. Thank you for watching. As always, don't watch me. Join me. Love you guys and have a great day.